All right, what's up, everybody? This is Adrena Martin, CEO, founder, creator of View Magazine, Visionaries and Entrepreneurs United. Um, <laughs> oh my goodness, I am here with film director Miles Triplett and Demarcus Curry, and we're going to be talking about their new film, In the Moment, and we're going to be talking a little bit about entrepreneurship and distribution for films, a little bit of everything. Um, so this segment is called, it's a new segment we're starting, Don't Become an Entrepreneur <laughs> That's some real stuff, huh? And it's, 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 it's based off my book. It's my book, y'all. Don't Become an Entrepreneur If. I wrote this book, Don't Become an Entrepreneur If. You can't do the nine things listed in this book. Don't do it. And just to give you a little bit of the background on me, I'm a fashion designer, author, and entrepreneur. My entrepreneurial journey started about, what, in 2012, 2013. So this book is about things that I've learned about entrepreneurship. It's a little bit of mo a motivation as well. So I got a chapter in the book, Don't Become an Entrepreneur If You're Afraid to Let Go of Fear. Don't Become an Entrepreneur If You're Afraid to Be Broke. So when we're done, I want to try to give Don't Become an Entrepreneur facts based on what you know about the film industry and you as well. So that's that, but we're going to go ahead and get started. So introduce yourself, Miles. I'll start with you first. Introduce yourself and what you do. Hey everybody, my name is Miles Triplett. I'm uh, just a young black man out here trying to make it in the world, a filmmaker, and I make films. There you go. <laughs> All right, so Mark. Hey, uh, my name is Demarcus uh, Curry. I am a uh, actor, producer, uh, and I'm an entrepreneur as well. Uh, that's that's uh, I don't think that's it. That's what I do. And I do uh, a lot of different things. Okay, a lot of different things, yeah. all right. Okay, so let's, first of all, how did you two meet? And let's talk a little bit about getting into the film industry as independent film directors. Mm. Um, me and DeMarcus met through a mutual friend, a guy by the name of Phoenix. Mm. Um, Flame. Phoenix Flame. Yes. Okay. Um, and I mean, we just, we hit it off like as soon as we met. We both mm. kind of just vibe. And then, and I had a project in mind that I could use them for, and we did it. Got into a bunch of festivals, and we just been rocking with each other since. Ever since. Okay. That's Ever since. That, that was, boy, that was a great breakdown. Oh, I would say, like, oh, I <laughs> like, the whereabouts of that, friend. Okay. Hey, so, um, we've been working for a while now, doing, doing a lot of different uh, projects, plan to do more. Um, that was in 2006. So were you into film already, DeMarcus? Yes. Okay. Well, as a matter of fact, when we met, we were shooting the um we were doing some stuff. So yeah, I was definitely in film. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, yeah. you got you in. Okay. Now so I was in film, um I was I was uh, I met I actually met our friend Phoenix through an acting class. So that's how I was able. I went to go visit um, Mr. Phoenix, and I met Miles. Okay. All right. Yeah. So we're here today because your new movie, In the Moment, just came out. Tell us a little bit about the film. Oh, uh, In the Moment is a story about an actor, actress who lives in South Carolina, and she wants to move to Atlanta to pursue her dreams of being in the acting world. But she's never been to Atlanta, and uh, she moves to the hood. Move to the wrong part of Atlanta. Okay. And she still pretty much it's a message about fight for the dream and pursuing it and no matter what happens, still go for your goals. Mm hmm Okay. So what role do you play in the film, Marcus? I play um, her acting coach in okay. which she comes to Atlanta and um, I play a very um, astute and uh, powerful actor and acting coach there in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. uh, and I just happened to be her coach and a lot of things transpire and uh, you know, it's a good story. I can't wait for you guys to see it, but I'll play her acting coach. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the movie, it's, it's in theaters starting today, right? Yes. Starting yesterday, yes. Starting yesterday, yesterday, actually. Oh, my bad, yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Starting yesterday. So let's talk a little bit about um, I want to talk a little bit about being an independent film director and just some some of the things, like I said, we're talking about entrepreneurship and being creatives and visionary. So as your journey, throughout your journey as a film director, what are some, I guess, of the biggest lessons that you've learned up to this date? Oh, Lord. <coughs> I don't know a lot. Right there, yeah. I mean, 
number one, if you don't love that shit, you mm -hmm. know, uh, don't do it. Mm -hmm. People people get in like, well, you know, I like acting, you know, I think I can entertain. But then figure out that it's not just about the entertaining aspect of it or if you're talented. It's this, mm -hmm. you know, all the factors that are into it. So that's really the biggest thing. If you ain't got that passion for this, mm -hmm. stop. Mm -hmm. it, no matter what it is, not just film directing, whatever it is that you're doing, if you don't have a genuine love, passion for it, if you wouldn't do this for no money, mm -hmm. don't do it mm -hmm. at all. Because being an entrepreneur is not, <clears throat> is not lucrative at all in the beginning. Definitely not. I mean, like, and there's no, and your beginning can be a year, two years, three years, ten years, you're mm -hmm. in the beginning, and then after that ten year, now finally something is happening for you. Right. So it's, that's the biggest thing I would explain about it. You gotta have that passion. Mm -hmm. What about you, Demarcus? Because you also you have a tax service as well. Oh, wow. And with yeah. being a, yeah, yeah, I know you didn't bring it up initially, but, but you're an entrepreneur, so what yeah. are some things that you've learned being an entrepreneur and even in the film industry as well? Um, it, it made a lot of sense when Miles just said, if you don't, if you don't love it, mm -hmm. you don't need to even, and then you, that's the first question you need to ask yourself because the only thing that keeps you going is the love for it and the hunger for it. And that's what the film industry um, and other businesses, you have to do things that work for you in your um, mind. Mm -hmm. Like I love numbers, I love money, I like to see it come. Um, so I try to do things that guarantee a particular type of flow. Mm -hmm. um, and that's how I move. So I won't have a problem, I'm gonna have a situation when I'm feeling down about it because I know that this is gonna bring certain things because there's a demand for it. Mm -hmm. So um, everybody got a structure how they how they want to. Right. You know, you better have your emotions in check before you step out there and leave the, the workforce mm -hmm. and try to do something because if you don't have your emotions in check, you'll slit your wrist or jump off a bridge or something. Right. Nothing or, is guaranteed. Or right. hurt somebody else in the process. So you don't want to mm -hmm. be that type of person either. Right. And um but you know, it's a it's a real grind, and on top of everything, you know, I think people don't understand when we say the word grind. Like mm -hmm. when when you say the word grind, people love to say grind, grind, grind. Well, take <laughs> take a rock and grind them together, mm -hmm. and just really see what the hell that is. Right. That'll give you a little understanding of what grind really means. And keep doing it. And don't stop. Don't stop. <laughs> don't stop till those rocks are gone. Go right. on. And go find two more rocks. And do it some more. Mm -hmm. no, that's real. And and you know, especially as creatives, especially as creatives in the film industry, me being a designer, me being models, all that kind of stuff. It's, I think it's especially even hard because when you're a creative, you really don't see, you know, you have to do a lot of free work, you know, a lot of, you know, just get the groundwork. And a lot of people, I think especially in this day and age, they want everything quick. They want to come off the ground and, you know, post some stuff. They, they, they feel so entitled. Let me know, sorry, because this, this is huge for me. Uh, yeah. People feel so entitled mm -hmm. with, 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 with stuff. Like, they just, I've come across so many people, so many actors that just feel like, no, you need to be doing this for me. And it's like, man, you didn't prove yourself to me at all. Like, why, why should I just, I should just be doing this for you off the rip just because? Right. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's true, and you know, and I especially think in the in this age of social media, even from when I started, you know, so many things have evolved. You as a social media, you said you had all these this Instagram famous people, and let's talk about that for a second. Do do you feel like that has you know when people go Instagram famous because that's great, but do you feel like that's taken away from people that really have true talent outside of just being like Instagram famous or Instagram, um, you know, whatever? Honestly, in my opinion, I don't, I don't think. I mean, nah, I don't, I don't think so. Because mm -hmm. Instagram famous people um, aren't getting what they want. Mm -hmm. People become Instagram famous, like, you know, people who do skits and stuff, they want to be on TV, they want to be in the movies, they right. want to be on shows, they want all of that. Right. They don't get that because they're nobody taking them serious. Right. You're doing this little quick, corny comedy on Instagram for free, mm -hmm. and nobody, okay, well, as a, as a director, legit, as a director, I wouldn't cast them mm -hmm. because it's like, okay, I don't want that attached to mm -hmm. my um, my brand, to, mm -hmm. to my movies. Okay. So that's, it's only, it's literally only a handful out of all of the thousands of Instagram famous people that mm -hmm. people actually get cast into bigger stuff. Mm -hmm. That's why they all going to Wild and Out. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> all of them. Mm -hmm. That's, that's their only, that's and their only, and they on TV. Right. That's true. 
I, I often, um, like that was a time when I, when I, you know, for a minute, everybody was trying to bring people who had a large following to real TV shows. Mm -hmm. And if you take a look now, they're all flooding right back out. Mm -hmm. um, if, especially if they don't have any talent. Right. They're, they're, going, they're, they're like flushing them out. Mm -hmm. And you see, you're starting to see real actors come back and really work and, you know, and things of that nature. So it, just like anything else in life, like bell bottoms. Mm -hmm. We rocked them for a while and now we don't. Right. Right. They all going to wild and out and they all getting cast by Tyler Perry. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Tyler Perry is just, just taking them, hey, look, whatever. You, know, you got a following, <laughs> let's go do it. But, mm -hmm. you know, I don't know. That's like having longevity. You don't think that it's really a way to. No, not at all. It's, no, not at well, all. It, well, it ain't just Tyler Perry. Some other people still doing it too, but they're going to all flow away. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. Or you just use them for, you're just using them for their base. You're not putting That's them all. as a, the main star of the, the movie or the show. You're just giving them a couple of lines. Okay, cool. They're going to promote that shit and we're going to get all of their fans or whatever. Mm -hmm. But you're not casting them in no serious role or nothing. Mm -hmm. okay. It's just not the way. I wouldn't advise nobody, if you're really trying to be you know, in this acting game, to go try to be instant famous. Mm -hmm. I got you. Now, I, I want to talk about... Um, as an independent director, get an distribution because be, you're in a theater. That's that's huge. You know, it's not like you're just you know doing a screen or anything like that. You're actually not a, a screen. <laughs> it's actually he's actually in in a movie theater. And how long is it going to be shown? A theatrical run. Yes. Okay. For a whole week. Okay. So I want to talk a little. You don't have to get too much into it, but let's talk about as an independent uh, director getting distribution for your products and not your. Projects, not products, uh, but your projects. But how? Um, what are some steps that upcoming, you know, directors or whatever actors can take to get their projects um, distributed? Uh, make a good project. Okay, that's a good start. That's literally as simple. That's as really. Can, right? I'm gonna be honest. That's what happened. Mm -hmm. You continually. We got better mm -hmm. every time. Mm -hmm. Like it wasn't a mistake, neither. Mm -hmm. It was on purpose. Mm -hmm. Every single project is better. You can go back and watch it. Mm -hmm. Even before I, I, I started working with Miles, mm -hmm. you can see the growth. Mm -hmm. There's no mistaking in it. Mm -hmm. So after a while, you will not be denied. Right. You gotta make a, a like. What, I mean, what you saying? Like, I feel like each project was mm -hmm. good, but up until this point, none of them were distribution ready. Mm -hmm. Like, none of them were ready to be shown. Mm -hmm. The, the timing. Mm -hmm. Yes. So yeah. finally, when we made this project, it just had it had everything that it needed to be actually ready to be distributed. But all in all, it's just making a good project. When you make a good project, and you know, do your due diligence, of course, and getting it out there and just promoting mm -hmm. it, mm -hmm. somebody's gonna see it, and then something will happen. Because there's too too many, too many. I'm not trying to name names, but too many people that have made projects mm -hmm. and have been promoting it. Mm -hmm. And all this, blah, 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 but nothing happens. And they're like, oh, well, why didn't it get distributed? Right. It just wasn't. It wasn't ready. It wasn't ready. Good it wasn't mm -hmm. And I, I, I met you too, what, back in 2017. I remember you all yeah. had a screening for, it was the, like the three film series, yeah. was it? That was dope. I love them. Oh, yeah. I, I, I love you. those. So, and, and, you know, even to see your growth from that, because that was just a screening. So now to see your growth from that to now you're actually in a, in a movie, yeah, that's dope. That's dope. Um, Thank you. I'm glad you 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 um I guess you realize that because mm -hmm. I'm I'm having the hardest time explaining to people that this isn't just a screening. Right. It's an actual run. You right. Have multiple show times that you can go and mm -hmm. see this at an actual theater. Right. You're in theaters with actual like movies that you would go to see. Yes. Yeah, next AMC, to Glass. Whatever. Next to Aquaman. Next to all of this. Right next to Aquaman. Like what? To, what else? To, Glass. Yeah. Glass yeah. is playing next, next door. To, if, if Bill Street could talk, all of these theatrical mm -hmm. big budget movies, we mm -hmm. are right there in the theater next. You can go to the concession stand. People keep asking for a link. Hey, where's the link for the tickets? Hey, just type in the theater site. Mm -hmm. Which there. which is springcinema.com and find in the moment whatever date you want to go see it and buy your ticket. Mm -hmm. It's legit just like that. Mm -hmm. And we're here in Atlanta, Georgia. For all of y'all wondering, we're in Atlanta, Georgia. So Spring, was it Spring Cinema? Spring Cinema, yes. Mm -hmm. It's in Sandy Springs. That's a really, really dope theater. Oh, that's right up the street from me. Oh, so you're going to be there tonight. Oh, 
Okay. Uh, the attire is sexy, so skin is uh, okay. hard. Okay. Now it's just. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, <laughs> all right. <laughs> so, um, <coughs> good grace. <laughs> so you gotta move that. No, um, you're all right. You're all right. All right. So you we're gonna um, just come out and enjoy yourself. Yeah, come out and enjoy. So what what, free what, what time? Does it, what time? Uh, nine thirty is the time. We had a seven fifteen one, but that's uh -huh. sold out. So uh -huh. the, uh, the nine thirty one, there still are a couple tickets left, so okay, we can still make a back one. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm so proud of it's a tap, right? They sell beer there too. Yeah, they got alcohol Come and stuff there too, man. Yeah. So you can really get it. Bring the family enjoy out. Mm -hmm. Enjoy yourself. Mm -hmm. yeah, Date you night. Mm -hmm. It's uh, uh, well, uh, if you get a large drink, you get free refills. So uh, there's a thing. There you go. Yes. <laughs> all right. Perfect date Perfect. night. So come on out. Um, what are some things that you all have while they're working up in the progress in the in the future? I should say. That's the market question. All right. So. Um, Miles did a short film. Mm -hmm. Well, it really was supposed to be a real film, but okay. uh, we had some things that happened. So we're gonna start with, we're gonna really do that film. It's a great film. It's a, I really want to talk about it just a little. It touches on mental health a little, mm -hmm. and we really feel like uh, the earth needs to see this and hear it. Mm -hmm. and we want to, we want to do it at a very high level. We actually got a, a really good group. Of people working with us now it is we're in a really good place mm -hmm. um, and so we want to kind of do that and we're working on some other stuff um, but we our our goal well my goal is to do like th like for us to do three films this year between two and three films okay this year like okay. 19 so, okay. so All right. just excited now there are things that miles comes up with on the move and we may just do those too so okay. it just just kind of depends on yeah okay just depends on what we feel like 2019 needs okay you yeah. touched on mental health and i always you know because even here at v magazine that's an issue that we really want to push more because there isn't a lot of awareness especially for men so being creatives and entrepreneurs what are some things that you do to keep your mental health in check i take ink uh the logo mm -hmm. um work out. Mm -hmm. I try to stay in the gym as much as I can. Okay. Uh, um, I try to read. See, people don't read anymore. I don't think people read anymore. Um, I try to read like at least, you know, people say I'm going to read a chapter. That's a lie. I try to read like five, four to five pages a day. Okay. I'm just being honest. Well, you know, that's good as honest. Because so. if you really, if you're not in school, you won't read it all. Mm -hmm. If you, if, you know, so if you try to read like four or five pages a day, that's more than most of the earth. And if you're reading a book, if you read mm -hmm. four to five pages a day in like six months, you'll be done with the, <laughs> with the book. You right. know what I'm saying? So um, it's kind of like reading is what helps your mind. Mm -hmm. Now, emotion-wise, you just want to try to keep yourself around people who who charge you and don't empty you. Mm -hmm. Draining your energy. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And not just your energy. Your, all of it. Like all of the stuff that goes into making that is you. Mm -hmm. You know, it's kind of crazy, but it's real. Mm -hmm. so, that's how I feel. Okay. About you, Mom? I mean, in all honesty, I, I feel like I still got to find something to, uh, to help me manage it, because this is a very stressful ass business, mm -hmm. but uh, mm -hmm. I really don't have, like, that one thing or anything that I just go to to, mm -hmm. uh, like, relieve the stress. I just, all I do is work. Okay. So it's, and it's, it's really not healthy, but that's literally all it's, I okay. do. Okay, I can help with that. Mm -hmm. I can help with that at all. I try, try to get it, man. Golly. Well, that, that, <laughs> well you got to understand, like, I was talking about that. Mm -hmm. um, that's where he's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean right. you know, it, there's a, when you're young, there's a window. Mm -hmm. And that window is closing, closing, closing. And if you don't respect that window, I feel like if you don't respect that window and understand Mm -hmm. that it's so much better to be a millionaire at 31 mm -hmm. than it is to be at 59. Mm -hmm. You know? It it's so much better to be successful at 30 mm -hmm. than successful at 60. Right. When your prostate start acting. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I, I just, I, you know, when I was his age, all I did was work. <laughs> you know, all I did was grind. Yeah. And it's, it is not, it's not a secret. Like, you can see that has happened so you got to stay 
Like when you find people who don't quite get it, mm-hmm. you really kind of got to just, you know, pull your time back. Right. Off people. Oh, you let them go. I, I find people that don't understand right. what the hell is going on or what we are trying to accomplish. It's yeah. legit. You stay at an arm's yeah. uh, length distance away. I don't, I don't try to associate with them at all. Right. Yeah, well, around me. There enough. have been some dropped people. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. multitude. Even just in the time that I've met him, it's a multitude. Mm-hmm. In and out. Oh, ATMs. So, many. so, so, many. <laughs> so I mean, but that's fine. Yeah, and that's cool. Kind of... We wish them well. We wish you well. Honestly, right. I really do. I honestly yeah. wish. Because I, I keep up with them, too. Like, I, anything yeah. that they do. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, if I think, you know, they're talented and I think they have potential, like, I'll mm-hmm. still keep up with them and, you know, root for them. I'll go to whatever they're doing. But right. as far as working with me, I've learned my lesson with you. Right, this, right, right. This can't happen because we not... It's we not on the same here. page, right? Yeah, I'm yeah. trying to work. You trying to mm-hmm. go to the pool? Mm-hmm. Come on, man. Like when you gonna get to it? We ain't got time to get our feet wet. You know, and, and, and that's okay because <laughs> I talk about that in my book. So I got a chapter called "Don't Become an Entrepreneur If You're Afraid to Make New Friends." And I think that as an entrepreneur, you have to be okay. And I'm not saying you got to be BFF with the person, but you definitely mm-hmm. have to expand your circle and not just be complacent with, you know, who you grew up with and who you went to high school with and just I think that. Yeah, I completely mm-hmm. agree with you. That's what all it's about. I mean, that's the same thing like with just how, mm-hmm. you know, we met. If I would have met him, be like, nah, you know, I think I'm good. I got yeah. people I work mm-hmm. with. I don't need them all like that. Right. But nah, it's definitely, I'm always open mm-hmm. to new people. Mm-hmm. Like, you have to be open to you have people. people. Mm-hmm. Now, once you learn mm-hmm. those new people. Oh. Mm-hmm. And once you see, hey, okay, well, I learned you. Right. Thanks. This ain't it. Mm-hmm. Thanks, bud. I'm going to go ahead. I'm a, I'm a, and you keep it pushing to the next new person that man. you got mm-hmm. Because what I found out, people are di- in different spaces mm-hmm. when you run into them sometimes. Right. But then sometimes you run into some, y'all are like, right, like, wow. Mm-hmm. Like, like I was telling him, I was like, man, what are the chances? Like, I really wanted to do film like this. And he really was hungry to do film. So the hunger was like met and we just grinded out. And so, and really, I'm gonna be honest, like I didn't write, I wrote like some on, on our web series, but everything else he wrote, mm. directed, edited, like there's a lot of stuff he does mm-hmm. with these films. And mm-hmm. people, I, I feel like people take that for granted. I don't, mm. I never have. Right. And so, I thoroughly, my bad, I mean, but yeah. I thoroughly appreciate him for that because yeah. I feel like a lot of people do like they they never see behind the curtain they no. just see right. us churning out all these mm-hmm. projects so many people think that i have like so many people doing mm-hmm. this with mm-hmm. me like oh, yeah, but that's good together. though because it, it looks like you know look like a whole team yeah yeah and that's a big that's thing, bro. but you got a whole team man mm-hmm. behind you i'm like it'd be me three a.m. <laughs> right like, editing yeah, and, 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 and right yeah. so, like what do you uh-huh. do? What, what team do you speak of right like, I mean, we have a lot of pas Right, but as right. far as like the other stuff, it's mm-hmm. it's, it's just like that, and that's no, I mean that. that you know that really be a whole other conversation because when people look at careers and entrepreneurship, they don't see they see the social media and what you post, but they don't see the back end, the work, like you say, the three a.m.s and yeah, the, they don't see behind that curtain mm-hmm. and what it takes to get out of there. They have no idea what we right. Did but see, in the that's the thing: social media don't show. Mm-hmm. The real, because we can only clip thirty seconds, right. sixty seconds in there. Mm-hmm. I think the microwave destroyed us anyway. Like mm-hmm. you really, like when it comes to this stuff, like you really gotta know how to cook. Mm-hmm. Like you, you gotta bake, right. like, and baking takes a, some time. Right. And and, and so mm-hmm. um, that's the reason why I, I sometimes am worried with with um, social media. But I mean, it's it's good for what it is. It's definitely good with communicating. Um, what you're trying to do and what you're doing, but when it comes to doing, really doing, mm-hmm. man, please, mm-hmm. it is a, yeah. it, it is, it is sweat. Mm-hmm. Like that's all I can say. Literally. It's rare. Mm-hmm. Like people, even though we saying all this stuff, mm-hmm. people can look at this video and still be like, oh, yeah, I get you, I get, it, I get it. <laughs> yeah, but they really don't. But it's you. not until you actually mm-hmm. start. And I don't mean just like as far as acting, go to to an acting class. You do a couple auditions. No, nah, that's cool. And I, I love to work with new people, like mm-hmm. just starting out people, because they be so hungry. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. if you ask like actors in this in the in the community or whatever, mm-hmm. it would be very rare that you will find an actor who says they've been acting longer, like consistently, 
like pursuing it, auditions, doing short films, hella student films for longer than three years. Mm. Oh, I promise yeah. you, you will not find a lot. You may find some, very rare, right. but you will not find a lot of people. The people who are in the moment, mm -hmm. I'd say most of them have been acting longer than three or four years. Oh. A lot of them under one year. A lot of them, this was their first project book. I was just about to say, like, this is their first project. Yeah. Like, most of them. The, our, our lead star, Samantha, this is her first Very project. Very first project. Book. Wow. Mm -hmm. There's not, especially in the independent community, there's not a lot of people who have been doing it for a long time. Because they right. just like, I, right. two years, yeah. they find out, mm -hmm. I, this ain't for me. This right. ain't it. This ain't it. Mm -hmm. You know? It's a lot, it's a, it's a lot more tedious than you could ever imagine. And another thing I want to uh, talk about with the entrepreneurship you got me on, mm -hmm. there is a, a call on you when you're an entrepreneur to be organized. Yeah. And one that is so, and I mean, you have to fight for organization, mm -hmm. like um, for what you're doing. And that's one thing Miles always did that I watched with other people mm -hmm. that just did not happen. And don't get it twisted. He's wild. Sometimes he's out of control. Mm -hmm. He's running around, but it's because he, you know, it's so much in his head. But being organized then puts other people in positions where they can win, mm -hmm. you know? So it, it's amazing. It's amazing because remember we said independent. Mm -hmm. So there is no group of people monitoring you. There is no uh, uh, board mm -hmm. making sure you do what you do. No, right. it's independent. Mm -hmm. So um, I, I want to. I just want to say, fight for organizations. Mm -hmm. Fight for being organized so in what you're doing, and that will get you mm -hmm. everything you want. Mm -hmm. That's true. I, I agree. Just to piggyback yeah. on that, like that's a huge yeah. thing that you yeah. mentioned about the organization. Then that's one. That's one of the reasons I'm so big on that. Like as far as getting out the information, like at least a month ahead of time to people, mm -hmm. so they can plan accordingly. I don't right. want to just hit you up last minute to where okay, now you got to make a decision. Okay, am I gonna do this? I'm gonna do this. I want to give you a month ahead of time. Like okay, either you write me down this date, mm -hmm. or if you can't do it, all right, I'm moving on to the next person type deal. But it's right. just. And I know you've dealt with other people like on other sets where it's just like the organization is like, yo, what the, like, what is going on? I don't like this, like, what the hell? I don't know when to show up. I still ain't got scripts. I right. just like all that type of stuff. And that, that'd be a lot of failures. Like, I, like I, I've done other independent films and it, I'm just telling you how awful it can be. You can go shoot, mm -hmm. do the film, do the work, and you never, ever, ever see it. Yeah, that's the other <laughs> <laughs> you, wow. you, you, you never even know. You, you can call the people and ask, hey, hey I'm not trying to bother you, but uh, yeah. hey, whatever happened to that film we did about a year and a half ago? Right. That is a famous actor, independent actor. Right. Like, yeah. Can I get my footage? Put it? Yeah. And I, one thing for me, I, 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 I take pride in being able yeah. to yeah. just give people their footage. As, mm -hmm. Like, as soon as I'm done with it, not not I mean like festivals and screening stuff. I mean as soon as that file is complete, mm -hmm. hey right. can I hey there you go here's your budget. Yeah. here it is here it is how can I get to your email Dropbox oh, yeah. I send it straight I send it straight to the iPhone right. and messages like right. here you go mm -hmm. download it mm -hmm. that is one thing I take so much pride in because yeah. I hear so many people ask like man yeah I did this project you know last year I, I still ain't seen no footage I'm like what. Right. We just filmed a month ago. Right. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, speaking of actors, because someone asked a question if y'all need any actors, what's the process that you go through to pick in the actors that um, you have in, that you include in your film? Well, uh, I mean, it's, it's a really normal process. Um, mm -hmm. It's really just the audition process. We put our castings on, um, on Buck the Act and Actors Access. Mm -hmm. But, um, with, with me, I try to do a mixture of new people and like people that I've worked with. Okay. So, really, in the moment, it was like the first project that I've done where it was like 70% new people that I've never worked with before. Mm -hmm. But most of the projects that I do, it's always a mixture of um, mm -hmm. people that I've worked with and then auditions. Okay. Because, in a lot, most of y'all suck in these auditions. So, um, okay. <laughs> You know, it's very rare. It's mm -hmm. hard to find that gem. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, okay, wow. Right. Like, that's a lot. It's a good one. We've seen some special things. 
Okay. To say the least. <laughs> okay. But, it, I mean, one thing with that, though, that's what you, you have to do. It's just everybody's on a different level. So, that, I mean, I've seen a lot of people's first auditions. Mm -hmm. You dig? So, I mean, it takes a lot of courage to even, Man. you know, do, you know, go in front of somebody and audition. So, it's so still... So, you don't know. Yeah, you right. Just like I said, I'm trying to yeah. it's kudos to you, mm -hmm. but you just weren't ready to be in the film that we're making. That's right. Cool. But still keep auditioning. Like I said, if you love it, it don't matter what I'm saying, you're still going to go out there and audition. Right. So, so are you all looking for, just as a hit question, are you all looking for any new actors? I feel like he answered that question perfectly. Okay. Uh, if we are, you'll see it on, uh, what on you the say? Actors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Says. Well, you just follow, if you follow our social media, then that that's, too. Um, yeah. which is? Yeah. You'll see, uh, mine is Mr. Sweat. Well, I just go to the SBS University. That's the best place to go. Don't follow yeah. mine. That's, <laughs> um, that's where you'll okay. see, like, because I, I normally post the casting calls to uh, Instagram first, because there's a lot of people that, you know, want to, um, like work with us on there, so I try to give them like first dibs, mm -hmm. and then I'll post it on the uh, the website. So SBS okay. Universe on Instagram, okay, is um that, and we'll have some casting calls coming up for the project that the oh, yeah. producers making. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. So before we get ready to wrap this up, I want you to give me don't become an entrepreneur if, and I want you to add your own based on what you know, what you've been through. Give me. A phrase or it could be if you're you know extra just a phrase like I said chapter in my book don't become an entrepreneur if you're afraid to let Can go. you name yours so I don't repeat one okay um it's nine of them so it's uh <laughs> <laughs> no nine of them it's nine of them but uh just give us one yeah yeah don't become no, an entrepreneur all nine all nine all nine okay actually hold this book do, up do you need this oh yeah and where can we find this book this book is actually it's on Amazon, oh. and it's actually on my website, www.whoisadrena.com. It's the link right there. It'll take you right to Amazon. Or you can get a signed copy directly through me, but everything is on my website, www.whoisadrena.com. And we actually just previous this on this book. Okay. So I'm going to read all nine. Don't become an entrepreneur if you're afraid to be broke. Don't become an entrepreneur if you're afraid to be alone. Don't become an entrepreneur if you're afraid to gain new friends. Don't become an entrepreneur if you're afraid to lose sleep. Don't become an entrepreneur if you're afraid of rejection. Don't become an entrepreneur if you're afraid of failure. Don't become an entrepreneur if you're afraid of competition. Don't become an entrepreneur if you're afraid to let go of fear. And don't become an entrepreneur if you're afraid to have faith. Hmm. I say don't become an entrepreneur if you're not ready to shoot for perfection. Don't mm -hmm. try to be perfect. Mm -hmm. but shoot for that perfection. Every time I make a new project, I'm trying to get better. I'm trying to show progress, and I'm mm -hmm. shooting for perfection. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm okay with not being perfect. I'm like, okay, this is really nothing I can do about it, but I'm still going to put it out, but I'm shooting for that perfection. Right. So. Okay. Um, uh, the, the thing that I always feel like <clears throat> entrepreneur needs to have, and just anybody, if, if you have a dream or you're trying to do anything, is uh, focus, like real laser focus. If you don't, and, and no, the way you find out whether or not you have focus is just take a look in your life in the past. Mm -hmm. um, and if you don't have it, you need to develop it. But if you don't have focus, don't, don't. If you're like all over the place now, yeah. don't just try to jump into something and mm -hmm. do something just because mm -hmm. you better be focused, man. Mm -hmm. you, you gotta be focused on what you want. Because it's going to be stuff pulling you and tugging you different ways and, uh, you know, wanting you to do this and try this and try that. Um, especially with film, I really feel like you better be focused. Mm -hmm. You better be focused, mm -hmm. especially on what it is you want from it. Right. That's the key. Whatever it is you want out of it, you better be focused. And it don't matter. It's, and that's in anything. Mm -hmm. But don't become an entrepreneur if you don't if you're not focused. That's a oh, really, 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 really good. That's deep. Yeah. That's I tell people that all mm -hmm. the time. You, you got you gotta be able to focus. A lot of people just don't have the ability to focus on their craft and mm -hmm. focus on it. Mm -hmm. And just get so distracted. Side mainly by the opposite thing. sex. Oh yeah. That's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the opposite sex gonna pull you. But you better be able regardless of the opposite sex, when you're here in the moment, mm. you better be able to focus, mm -hmm. you know? And that's the crazy part, because 
I know people who are entrepreneurs mm -hmm. in business, mm -hmm. and they're so caught up in other things that they're not, I watch what they're doing, and they're not going as far as they can with what they have. Right. And then, you know, they call, we have conversations about stuff, but you know, you're their friend, so you can't say certain stuff. Right. But you, you want to try to be around people with focus. Mm -hmm. You want to try to talk to people with focus. You want to try to have your little circle be a, a, just a group of focus. Mm -hmm. So that's the whole deal. You just want to, you want to, and, and there's ways to work on your focus. Mm -hmm. um, one of the ways I do it, I'm giving a lot, um, is I'll just try to hold one thought in my head for, I started at five minutes, then I go to seven minutes, mm -hmm. then I went to nine, but nine minutes as far as it, and while you're doing it, a lot of other stuff you're trying to go in your brain. Mm -hmm. And it's your job to kick it back out. Right. And after a while, you, you, it'll just be you and whatever you're thinking about. So I know that sounds kind of crazy. No, no, no. These are, these are facts. Because, yeah. I mean, just for an example of today, just about focus. Today is the day of our premiere for mm -hmm. um, the movie. And there's mm -hmm. like a multitude of things that have to happen. We were doing this on interview. My phone has been blowing up. Probably some idiots mm -hmm. trying to get tickets or <laughs> actors or whatever, who, whoever it is. Mm -hmm. But... It's just the ability to, to, to focus. Like, I knew we had this interview, so, okay, I gotta wake up early, I gotta make sure mm -hmm. I'm gonna focus on this while we're here, mm -hmm. and then I can focus on the next thing. So it's just, and a lot of people aren't able to do that. A lot of people are, you know, getting this call. Oh, wait, you gonna I mean, oh, yeah, this, oh, man, let me talk to this girl real quick. So it's like, yeah. mm -hmm. that is a fact. So I'm glad you did that. Okay. All right, any, as we wrap this up again, final words of advice, and give us social media again, and just any last comments you wanna leave. If you're not gonna, uh, <laughs> if you're not gonna finish it, man. Yeah. Okay. As we may not, don't even say that. Just, just start it. You gotta see if you love. Cause some people don't know if they until love. Until they get right until you do it. So, mm -hmm. but find out as quick as you can. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cause you gonna, you gonna be, you gonna be five years and no hit single. Uh, my social media <laughs> is Mister. <laughs> that is hilarious. That was M that was awesome. S W E A T E R S W A G. Really seven. Uh huh. I know. Just, just What's your social media? Oh, my name is Demarcus Curry. My uh -huh. social media is on on Instagram. Uh, Demarcus Curry on Facebook, of course. Uh, D Curry G A uh -huh. on Instagram, and it may change. So okay, catch me. All right. <laughs> it might, All right. <laughs> might might be something else tomorrow. Just, just, just follow on the day. And hey. then you just, you know. I don't right. know. <laughs> now, the greats ain't have no social media back in the day. <laughs> they just did their thing. Uh, okay. Well, thank you, everybody, for tuning in. This ain't me. Don't become an entrepreneur.